What up YouTube, uh, it's Heretic here, back with another deck profile from Cities. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at my uh, Night March Vespaquin Bronzong list, which I have accumulated, let's see, I've accumulated 80 points with this, technically 100, but the uh, top 8's been overridden since then, so as far as what's standing, 80 points with this deck in standard format and another 30 in expanded championship points, that is. So, uh... Can't really argue with the way that this list has performed. Five tournaments, three standard, two expanded, four top eights, all three standard, and one expanded bubbled out of the other expanded that I played this with. So, er, so uh, can't really argue. This deck's been doing pretty well for me. Um, kind of interesting how it came to light, but I'm going to go ahead and get to the list for you guys. This is pretty much the generic core list that I've been running. So we've got... Uh, pretty much as you would expect, four Joltics, four Pump Caboos, and four Lampins, 12 Night Marchers, because that's pretty much the core of the deck. Then we play a 3-3 three, three Vespaquin line. Uh, Vespaquin's like an alternate attacker to Night March, still works with double colorless energy, still, you know, obviously because it's all colorless attacker. Um, so it works in the same vein as Pump Caboo and Joltic in that respect, just being able to constantly put a lot of damage down similar strategy instead of specifically night marchers that we're doing damage by it's every pokemon in the discard a little more hp also helps out against evil tall when they're just trying to oblivion wing everything dead it's like no you're gonna have to do a little more than 30 damage um free retreat is nice for kind of a utility pokemon but more often than not it's he's really just a backup attacker since sometimes we can't always manage to use all eight of our night marchers as attackers and I don't know. It's just kind of nice to have a little more than 60 HP sometimes, too. Even if 90 is not that much more. Uh, next, we play a 2-2 Bronze Long Line. This helps us deal with stuff like Giratina. Um, anything that, you know, like Jirachi, you know, where you would have to wait a turn. Anything that would really prevent you from, like, just heavy double colorless disruption. Uh, hammers, stuff like that. Just being able to constantly recycle our metal energies back and forth to use on our attackers as we please. And then finally, two Shaman EX for a little extra draw power because that's pretty good and there's no reason why we shouldn't be playing it. Mirror Match, you can also use Sky Return to knock out Joltix. It's pretty effective. Also gets Shaman off your board so that you don't have to worry about giving up two prizes on one attack. Um, supporters, play three Sycamores, one Lysander, one Hex Maniac, one AZ, and one Teammates. Um, AZ is probably the techiest thing in here, but it's still, it seemed to work from time to time. It can get a Shaman off your board, or you can just use it if, for some reason, you can't retreat. You don't have a Float Stone, maybe. Um, it's usually what, what we do with it, but, uh, it's also a card that you can see, you could conceivably take out in exchange for something else, whether it's, like, a second Lysander or a second Hex, or maybe you can add in, like, another Pokemon, Mr. Mime, or something else. Just kind of whatever you want to do with it. And then we play two Dimension Valleys. Uh, make Pumpkaboo attack for two colorless because that means one attachment. If not, I mean, we only play two because you can also Metal Links onto Pumpkaboo and then attach double colorless and go. So it's not impossible. It's just more of a convenience at this point. Uh, four Battle... or I'm sorry, four uh, VS Seekers to get our supporters back. Play a lot of one-ofs. Four Battle Compressors to go with that. Dump your supporters, get them back with VS Seeker, dump your energy, get them back with Bronzong, or the obvious, dump your Night Marchers and use them for to boost the damage of your attack. Clean out those Lampins right away, people. Uh, let me play four Ultra Ball. Obvious, search. Search Pokemon, seems good. I'm going to play three Trainer's Mail and three Acrobike. Uh, normally we would max out Trainer's Mail on this, especially considering we're talking about standard format right now. However, with this deck, it's... Like, you really, you got to make sure that you hit everything, not just your Pokemon. Like, you really, your trainers can get you another Pokemon. Like, with Ultra Ball, you can get back a Supporter with VS Seeker or Compressor to set one up and get your Stadium. But one thing Trainer's Mail cannot get you is a double colorless energy. And we don't really have another way to search for that, so that's kind of why I like to have the 3-3 split with Acrobite here. And then we play two Float Stones. And so just pretty much just put those on Bronzong. <laughs> That's usually how it works. And then four double colorless, obvious for our attack attack costs, and then three metal energies to work with Bronzong. Also gives us energy outside of double colorless. So we have some basic energy if we need them. Pretty pretty good idea. I feel like just to have those just in case. Um, so like I said, uh, 
two second places, a top four, and a top eight, all with this deck at Cities. Uh, with the top four was uh, expanded format. I basically just switched out the Bronzongs for Eels. And, you know, you fit in, like, Computer Surge. Uh, Mr. Mime is a little more prominent and expanded. Um, so it's a better card to have there. Otherwise, the list pretty much stays the same. Um, some people don't like the Bs. I personally think Vespaquin's a good idea in here just because we have so much Evil Tall here, or at least we have throughout the course of Cities. So it's just kind of a nice, slightly bulkier, but still fairly wimpy attacker that can do a lot of damage, though. It's just a slightly larger glass cannon. Um, but that's about all I've got on this deck right now. Uh, it's done pretty well for me, so again, can't argue with the results. Uh, if you guys want to know anything else, just feel free to let me know. Uh, I'll be back hopefully very soon, though, with some more stuff for you guys. Cheers.